Police say demonstrators protesting horse racing created a safety hazard by setting off smoke bombs at Golden Gate Fields in Berkeley. KPI X5's Andrea Borba on the fallout for people who were there to get their COVID shots. Andrea? Well, Alan and Juliet, there were about 200 people, according to Berkeley and Albany PD, who missed their doses today because of the commotion that was happening right over here behind me at one point off of the I-80 exit of Gilman right in front of Golden Gate Fields and on the track itself. Of course, the Golden Gate Fields is serving as a mass vaccine site, and people were lined up waiting, trying to get their shot, but couldn't for quite some time. From Chopper 5, you can see a line of cars snaking around Golden Gate Fields, waiting to get into the city of Berkeley's COVID-19 mass vaccination site. But those shots were put on pause because of this. A protest of horse racing at Golden Gate Fields by Animal Rights Group Direct Action Everywhere. Today is just one day and we're hoping that we can make progress towards ending horse racing completely, first at Golden Gate Fields and then across the state. In addition to the handful of protesters at the entrance of Golden Gate Fields, four people were chained together at the back stretch of the racetrack. According to Albany PD, the reason the vaccine clinic got shut down, smoke bombs. Were smoke bombs released by your No. Folks? No, they were not smoke bombs. They were smoke flares. Profit is no excuse. Tensions flared as some near Golden Gate Fields didn't take too kindly to the protesters. Meanwhile, folks waiting for their COVID-19 vaccine doses sat in their cars. We need to get through this COVID, which is killing people. It's to me is inconsiderate of them at this point. I mean, let's get this People, people are dying every day, and they worry about horses at this present time. Uh, I would think they would worry about the human beings that are that going through the, the fact of dying. I think it's just kind of crazy, but everybody has a right to their opinion and to protest, and I really support that. So it's an inconvenience, but eventually I'll get a shot. When pressed about the vaccine site closure, this is what direct action everywhere had to say. That responsibility is on the Albany Police Department. They could open that vaccine site. We're posing no danger to the public at all. And so I totally understand they're upset, and I hope that they are upset, the right parties, which is the police department making that decision. In a Twitter statement, Golden Gate Field said this about the protest. We respectfully suggest to the activists that there is a better way to have this conversation and air their concerns. We welcome the opportunity to have this discussion in the appropriate format. Now, Albany Fire Department has set up two additional vaccine sites here to help and try and get through some of the backlog that occurred during this protest that happened earlier this afternoon. The company that is running this site, though, Curative Inc., is going to be reaching out over the next few days to those people who may not have got their doses today to reschedule them to get those shots in their arms. Reporting live, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.